Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Yoga in Absentia number 16. I'm Madeline, your yogi, and thank you to my husband, Dave, our videographer and production guy. He's got all the cool stuff in there that makes this so enjoyable. All the flowers, the sounds of water. He's becoming quite the craftsman. Thank you, Dave. So tonight we're going to do, or this afternoon, we're going to do a gentle flow class, a little bit of standing, sitting, and then um, finally seated. So we'll begin on a chair, or you can sit on the floor if you want to, whatever is more comfortable for you. And we'll just sit back, but keeping our spine nice and tall, in Dhyana Mudra, hand mudra. This is your left hand, this is your right hand. The thumbs touch. Close your eyes and just begin to breathe, being mindful of breathing all the way up to the collarbones and back down to the belly. Here we go, a couple moments of breathing. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Two more. And allow the eyes to open. By the way, Diana Mudra means meditation. So, <clears throat> we'll start with some neck releases. So, chin to chest. Drop it down and move it side to side, working out the kinks a little bit. Come on up, drop your ear over to your left shoulder. Inhaling up, exhale to your right shoulder. Inhaling up, and once again, chin to chest. Inhale, come up. Just gently lift the chin a little bit Jut your jaw out to stretch your neck. And back to neutral. Some arm raises, so nice big breath as you lift up. Exhale, back to Anjala Mudra. Inhaling, lift up. Exhale, back to Anjala Mudra. Inhale, lift up. This time, step your feet a little wider and just go side to side, really lengthening the side body as you reach your arms up. And then interlace your hands up at the top. Come on down, push it out, arch your back so it touches the back of your chair. Shoulders come forward. Inhale, lift, rock over to your left side. Stretch the side body to the top and over to your right side. Back to the center, bringing your palms together back into Anjala Mudra and taking a moment for gratitude. Starting with some shoulder shrugs up to the ears, back, down and around, up, back, down and around and up, back, down and around. Now up, forward, down, back. Up, forward, down, back. Up, forward, down, and back. Bring your fingertips to your ears. Elbows out, widen your stance a little bit. Twist over to your left. Come to the center, draw your elbows in, open. Twist over to your right, back to the center. Bring your elbows in and open. And then go ahead and cross your left knee over your right. Place your hand here. As you elevate your left arm up, lengthening the spine, then turn and twist. You can drop your arm back behind your chair if you want to. And then pull on this knee just a little so you're starting to get a twist on the outside of that leg. Return to your center. Now cross your right knee over your left, palm on. Lift your right arm up and open up, drop it back behind you. Breathe. 
Once again, pull a little on this knee so you get a nice stretch along the outside of your IT band. Come back to the center. Okay. <clears throat> uh, seated cat cow. So come forward a wee bit. Place your hands on your knee. All right, stretch forward, Draw, bring your shoulders forward, arch your back to try to touch the back of your chair. Inhale up, arch, shoulders back. Exhale, try to touch the back of the chair. Inhale up, arch your back. And last time, back of the chair and up. Back to the neutral. Okay, we're going to stand and sit three times. So go ahead and hold your shoulders, strengthening our quads a little bit. So inhale up, hover, and down. Up, hover, and down. Up, hover for one, two, three, four, five, and down. Good. All right, go ahead and set your um, chair to the side. <clears throat> we'll do some, some standing poses. So we're going to start with uh, some forward folds and then some camel and then we'll end in chair. So nice breath as you lift up, exhaling forward fold. Inhaling half lift, exhaling release. Inhale, sweep up. Bring your hands back, heels to your, right there on your piriformis. Lengthen the spine and come back into camel. Gaze forward. So you're not dropping your head way back. Okay, come up. Inhale, rise. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring your hands back. Lengthen, tip back, or camel. One more. Inhaling, rise up. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Nice breath, come up. Heels of your hands back to your piriformis. Gaze forward, lengthen your sternum, and tip back for final camel. And back up. Okay, we'll forward fold <clears throat> to down dog right now. So inhaling, lift, exhaling, forward fold. Walk your hands out to downward facing dog. Okay, kick up your leg and arch as you bring it in. Inhale, lift, and arch as you bring your knee in. And lift, and knee in. Opposite side. Lift and knee in. Lift, knee in. Knee up, leg up, knee in. And come down onto all fours into table. Going into some cat cow stretches. Oh boy. Exhale into cow. Inhale to cat. Bring yourself all the way down into Sphinx. So down to your forearms, elbows under your armpits, fingers spread, legs about hip distance apart for Sphinx pose. Okay, press your pelvis into the mat. One down, inhale, lift. Using the strength in your back and your pelvis pressed. Exhale down, inhale. Lift and hold. Exhale down. Inhale, lift and hold. And exhale down. This time, inhale, lift. Sweep your arms back. Lift your legs. Locus. And come down. Hover your nose. Inhale up into locus. And down. Inhale to locus and down. Now, cross your forearms. 
dropping your forehead down, rest, and sway your legs side to side. Just breathe and sway. Drop your legs down, come back up into your cat, cows a couple of times as a counter pose. And step back into plank. So, bellies in, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and back down into child's pose. Come into down dog, so we'll bring ourselves back up to standing. <clears throat> and walk your feet in. Bring your hands down and rise up and come into Tadasana, mountain pose. Feet hip distance, shoulders back, bellies in, palms forward. Press your feet into the earth. Imagine yourself being as stern and as sound as and enduring as a mountain. Taking a couple of breaths. And one more standing pose. Open yourselves up to warrior two. <clears throat> Spread your arms, engage your bellies, and reverse warrior. And side angle. Warrior two. Once more, reverse. Side angle. Warrior two. Opposite side. Warrior two. Reverse. And side angle. Warrior two. Reverse. And side angle. And back up. Wide leg forward fold. Walk your feet in and come back down into easy seated pose. Widen your legs, flex your feet, slide down to your right leg, getting a stretch on the inside of that leg and come up, come to the middle. Remembering to hinge forward, not to rock forward. Hinge forward. May not get as far, but it's healthier for your back. Breathe. Up. And come on over. To your left side. And back up. Now, how about the word of wisdom? Dave, I chose this for you today. Oh, good. I'm sure it'll benefit me. Okay, this comes from Billy Graham. Oh, absolutely. He has some words for you. He shares one of your dilemmas, dear. He says, why is it that the only time my prayers are not answered is when I'm playing golf? <laughs> Would that that be the, the case? Namaste, everybody. Namaste. <laughs>